Let's get you shredded. Let's get you shredded. So number one, let's figure something out first. What kind of cardio do you like? All right, all right. Let's let's look at some choices. Let's look at some choices. Let me cook. Let me cook. Here's three cardio topics we're going to cover in today's video, and I'm going to give you some examples of which would best fit you. We have LIS, HIT, and CLAP. So LIS is an acronym that stands for Low Intensity Steady State Cardio. Examples are walking on a treadmill, walking on a stair stepper, operating an elliptical, using the bike or the cycle machine. Most of the standard cardio equipment that you'll see at your local gym. Let's take the treadmill for example. I'll usually have that at a three speed, three incline. Or depending on the machine, it can be different. Whatever also helps me reach my target heart rate. So if I take the number 220 and I subtract that by my age, that's gonna give me my sub-maximal heart rate. This number is a number if somebody had a gun to my head or if a bear was chasing me. I don't need to be at my sub-maximal heart rate during cardio, I just need to be at my target heart rate. So I'm gonna take my sub-maximal number, I'm gonna multiply that by 0.70, or 70%. I need 70% of that, and 70% of my sub-maximal should give me 134.4 BPM, beats per minute. And that is my target heart rate. So take the number 220, subtract by your age, then multiply by 0.70, and you'll have your target heart rate. The end of point six, I'll round up to a 135 BPM. Does that make sense? Here's the equation, one more time, one more time, because I know it's like confusing. Plug in your numbers, and this is how you can optimize your steady state cardio. Or at a minimum, how hard you should be working when doing your steady state cardio. And you can keep track by wearing a Fitbit or holding onto the heart rate monitors on the treadmill. When I'm on the treadmill and I'm at a low speed and a low incline, I can also multitask. So that allows me to send texts, send emails, right? Plan out the week, follow up with friends, make a post if I need to make a post, or my favorite, edit video. I do most of my video editing while I'm on the treadmill because editing video is very time consuming and it just allows me to get everything done, both pieces, and uh, I'm very happy with the use of time. So if you have a busy schedule, this low intensity steady state cardio style could absolutely be a fit for you. So what is HIT? HIT involves exercises performed in repeated quick bursts at maximal or near maximal effort with periods of rest or low activity between bouts. So you're going hard, then you're slowing down. You're going hard, you're, go you're slowing down. You can perform this with almost anything as well. You can perform this with sprints. You do a sprint to a walk. You can do high intensity rowing, then to low intensity rowing. Same with cycling, boxing. There's many different ways to apply HIT. You'll want some type of interval timer on hand. Some pieces of cardio equipment do have this already preset. It's called a Sprint 8 in this uh, gym near my home called the Bay Club. They have treadmills that will just do it for you. You don't have to touch anything. You'll do eight sprints, balls to the wall, and it sets it all up for you. And their standard is one minute, 30 seconds of walking, and then you do 30 seconds of sprints, and you rinse and repeat for eight sets. For clap, I wouldn't rely on it too much simply because you won't always know how long the training session is, where it will be, or if it is even gonna happen. So you're better off sticking with bliss or hit to see your results.
Here's a sample protocol you can use to properly structure your cardio throughout the week. For lists, you'll do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. You'll have five days that you're doing cardio with two days off. If your job is really active, then I'll re recommend 30 minutes of cardio. If your job is sedentary, then I'll recommend closer to 50 minutes of cardio. And do not, do not skip cardio. You just can't, you just won't get the same results. I know sometimes we sweat during our weights or we just, can I just do an extra session of weights? It's just not the same for whatever reason. And maybe, maybe you're different, maybe you're blessed, but for whatever reason, my body composition does not get me to a contest shape without the cardio. And neither do the same with a lot of all of the other pros. They will tell you just about the same thing. You gotta get your cardio in. For HIT, a sample could be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, plus one weekend day, preferably a Saturday night or Sunday morning, just so you have enough time between getting back to Monday for your body to recover. Option two for HIT is going to be doing an alternating schedule or a cyclical schedule. For week one, you'll do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, HIT training. Then for week two, you'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Then right, you need to skip a day. So then you do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday again, then you skip Sunday and you'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. You're gonna do 20 minutes if your job is active and 25 minutes if your job is sedentary. And trust me, after you that extra five minutes, after you've already done 20 minutes of high intensity training of sprints or what, what have you, those extra five minutes, you will feel that. So some weeks you have three days, some weeks you have four days. It's still under the five day amount that LIS is requiring, but you'll have some weeks where you'll still need to do four days or three days. So it's just a matter of keeping track. HIT requires you to work harder, but you can do it for a shorter amount of time to and generate similar results. So go ahead and comment below which form of cardio you're gonna do. Can't wait to hear back from you. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe and I will see you on the bodybuilding stage. <laughs> All right.